As we continue to explore how the browser can be used during the design process, it's helpful to know that constraint values can be modified from directly within the browser. Let's take a look at how that can be done. First, let's look at the setting where this can be enabled. In the upper right-hand corner of the browser is a drop-down menu that exposes this setting. This is simply a toggle. Here you can see edit values in browser is currently checked and it is by default. If for any reason you don't want this feature to be enabled, you can simply come and uncheck this setting. Let's make sure it's left checked and let's scroll down the browser and locate the heatsink part. If you click the arrow to the left of the heatsink, you can see the things that have been consumed by it. The origin, some work planes, some sketches, and most importantly, the constraints. We're gonna focus on Mate 51. This is the constraint that holds the heatsink to the engine block. If you simply left click on it, you can see that you now have the ability to edit its offset value here in the browser. If we hit one, and then hit enter, you'll see in the graphics window, the heat sink is lifted one inch off of the engine block. What's important to know here is this is simply exposing a value from within the edit dialog box for this constraint. If you were to right click on this mate 51 and select edit, you'll see the value here in the dialog box. It's this offset value. If you select that and enter zero, you'll see that the graphics window updates and shows that the part is back to its original position. Simply selecting OK commits that value and we're back to where we started. It's important that you know those are connected so that you fully understand where those values are coming from.